Welcome to this informative video on the structure and function of the liver. In the first part of this video series, we will take you on a comprehensive tour of the different parts that make up this incredible organ. So, let's dive right in. The liver is a vital organ located in the upper right quadrant of the abdominal cavity. It performs numerous essential functions, including detoxification, metabolism, and bile production. The liver consists of two primary lobes, the larger right lobe and the smaller left lobe. The right lobe occupies the majority of the liver's mass and is located on the right side of the body. The left lobe of the liver is situated on the left side of the body and is smaller than the right lobe. It lies to the left of the falciform ligament, which separates the right and left lobes. The caudate lobe is a smaller lobe located posteriorly on the liver. It is situated between the right lobe and the inferior vena cava. The quadrate lobe is a small, square-shaped lobe situated on the undersurface of the liver. It is located between the gallbladder and the left lobe. The liver receives a significant blood supply through the hepatic artery. The hepatic artery branches from the celiac trunk which is a major branch of the abdominal aorta. The majority of blood supply to the liver comes from the portal vein. The portal vein collects nutrient-rich blood from the digestive organs, including the stomach, intestines, and spleen, and delivers it to the liver for processing and filtration. The hepatic veins drain deoxygenated blood from the liver and return it to the systemic circulation. They merge into the inferior vena cava, which carries the blood back to the heart. The liver is primarily composed of hepatocytes, which are specialized liver cells. Hepatocytes perform a wide range of functions, including the synthesis and storage of nutrients, detoxification of harmful substances, and the production of bile. Bile ducts transport bile, a yellowish-green fluid produced by the liver, to the gallbladder for storage and later release into the small intestine. Bile aids in the digestion and absorption of fats in the small intestine. And there you have it, the anatomy of the liver. In the next part, we will learn about the function of the liver. Thank you for joining us on this educational trip. See you in the next video.